right, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new leak that dropped for Figma. Uh, it's called Figma Sites. Uh, I don't wanna butcher this name, uh, but a lady on X called Jane Manchun Wong has dropped these screenshots called Figma, Figma Sites. So in her tweet, she writes, design responsibly using pre-built blocks and add preset interactions, then launch with a click. So when most people saw that, they start to think about Framer. And that's kind of what I want to frame this video around. Is this the kind of the death knell for Framer? Is this going to completely destroy Framer? My initial reaction when I first saw this is this is going to change everything. It's going to change the whole no code website building um, landscape. But let's dig into it a bit more because I think there is more to the story than just whether it's going to kill Framer or, or, or Webflow or whatever. So let's just take a quick look at these screenshots. So they didn't, she didn't give us much to go on, but what they do have, it looks like Framer's kind of UI settings. Uh, it looks like a lot of um, similarities. Uh, it looks pretty basic in terms of features at the moment, but of course, you know, we can't actually see everything. Um, but in, case, in, the, in the terms of whether it's gonna really destroy the industry, framer, etc., I do have some thoughts around that because I'll be honest, when I first heard this news, I thought, man, is it actually worth kind of digging deeper and get to know Framer even more and learn about Framer? Um, I'm actually launching uh, some freelance services working with Framer. And I was thinking, wow, should I just, should we just, you know, just use Figma sites? Because one benefit of Figma sites is obviously Figma, we've all used it. I would say I'm slightly faster as a designer on Figma than I am at Framer, uh, but it's, it's not much in it. So I was thinking, man, maybe Figma sites might be the, the better option. But I think there's more to the story. So there are around six reasons why I actually don't think Figma sites is going to kill Framer. And I'm gonna go into them right now. The first thing is community. Now I know Figma has a crazy community. Obviously they are, it's corporate, it's single people, it's, uh, it's single people like individuals. Uh, it kind of spans the whole uh, the whole range, but Framer does have quite a like tight knit, passionate community. And um, and look, don't get me wrong, most of those designers in the Framer community will use Figma, have used Figma. So it'll be interesting to know if there is some sort of jump or if they stay loyal to Framer. I suspect they will stay loyal to Framer for some of these other reasons, and one of those reasons is. Framer's affiliate program. I might be wrong, but I don't see Figma releasing affiliate program as generous as Framer. Uh, Framers give 50% um, affiliate fee, and I can't see Figma doing that. You know, we've seen these new Figma pricing um, pricing strategies. Some people are not really happy about it. Um, I can't see Figma giving back money. And uh, I actually do wonder if with, with this change, is Figma really just trying to take Framer and Webflow's, you know, market share, or are they are they thinking it's more of a corporate play, um, more B two B? Is that what they're thinking? I mean, I guess it's probably everything. Let's be honest. Now, another reason why I don't think Framer should be too, too worried. Well, should be a little bit worried, <laughs> but should be completely worried is pricing. I just, I suspect Freedom's pricing won't be as competitive. Again, all speculation, but just given the pricing changes they made to the designer, their design software, I suspect it won't be as competitive as Framers, but we'll have to wait and see. Next thing is speed. Framer ship very, very fast. They ship a lot of new features, super quick. Um, they move very, very fast. They have plugins. I don't know, if, I know Figma has plugins, but I don't know if Figma sites will have plugins as well, you know, straight out of the box. We'll have to wait and see. 
but frame rush chip features very quick and um, we don't know one what features this is going to launch with figma size and two how quickly are they going to support it you know i have i'll be honest i haven't really followed figma slides and that kind of the cadence at which they release features for that um so we'll have to wait and see another thing we need to talk about is you know how feature complete will it be when it actually releases you know what are we going to be waiting for because obviously framers had a long time well a decent amount of time to ship features and they've obviously done a lot and they've they've tweaked things they've tried things they've done a lot and obviously of course figma can use that history to learn from it um but will they have the plugins will they have because you know framers plugins are actually pretty good now will um, figma have the plugins will they have all these features for example will they have a cms you know that that can be a bit of a deal breaker if you're like a professional um in the tweet it says basic interactions animations obviously Framer has pretty decent um animations built in in terms of you know things you can create so will figma be lacking that you know and if it is you know i, I don't think the work that no code designers want to do they can you kind of need that animation and Framer is really good at that and then the last thing is there's just general uncertainty you know we don't know how well the performance of this is going to be how well it's going to be implemented you know how smooth everything's going to be you know we expect good things with this figma uh, but of course there's a lot of uncertainty if they were to completely implement this perfectly it is definitely a big problem for framer i we can't really shy away from that and i think in the long term it will be a big problem for Framer, even if it doesn't launch with animations, um, a CMS, etc. You know that stuff will come. So in the long term, it's going to be a bit of a problem. Where Framer does have it is, you know, the smaller, more nimble. Um, like again, that affiliate program, the community, all that stuff can really help Framer. But Framer will have to, the Framer Webflow. These all these guys will have to do something different. They have to do something new. Um, to stay ahead it could be also be a pricing thing which will help them and like i said i mean if you look Fringma could probably afford to take a loss <laughs> if they wanted to or maybe on this i don't know but um i just i, I think it's going to be difficult for Fringma long term but in the short term i think they'll be fine um in the long term we don't know and um you know i do also wonder why figma is even doing this is, is this something they are seeing as a you know a, a, a direction that the industry is going in is it you know it kind of seems like a strange one that being said i expected them to do this last year which is to add that publish button which you know people had speculated and they're now doing it this year is it too late um we'll have to wait and see but yeah that's the the leak you know, I, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. For me personally, like I said, I think in a short term frame was okay. Long term, I think it's going to be difficult. But saying that, I think it was always going to be difficult for frame in the super long term anyway, with AI and that kind of thing. So we have to see. If you if you found this video helpful, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It takes a moment for you. It means the world to me. I'll catch you in the next one.